like the fruit? Yes, it's the easiest way for people to like, yeah. my name. I always eat summer like the season. Summer the season? Summer awesome like the too. season. So we'll just ask a few quick questions. I know you guys are really busy. Congratulations on a season of full congratulations on a season full of ups and downs. Thank you. There was a lot of ups and a lot of downs. <laughs> I mean, Fillory is driving me crazy. I thought it would be nice and loving, and instead it's kind of dark. I know. Fillory is a character in its own right, um, and, it, and it shifts and transforms itself so quickly, and you kind of have to just keep up with it. It's its own force of nature, so, yeah. Now, can you give me a few clues what's going on in the upcoming season? Because it looks like you guys have lost magic, you guys are having a little bit of a war, and right. you and your bestie are kind of like fighting. Yeah. I mean, look, something that I'm most excited about as an actress is getting to play opposite Candace Kane. I think she's such a powerhouse and a force of nature. Um, and she has such a natural gravitas that, I, you know, I already did one scene with her the other day on set. And I was like, I'm going to learn so much from this woman. Like, I'm going to be a stronger actor when this season is done if I get to have a few more scenes with her. So I would say that's the thing that I'm most excited about. <laughs> one of the things that I really love about this character is a story arc. At first you guys were just purdy, bitchy, bitchy, yeah. bitchy, yeah. and now there's like a depth that's really had to draw out of you. How yeah. was that? You know, it was a patience game, season one. It really was. I didn't work a lot, and you always want to be working, but I'm so glad once we got to season two that that's how it played out for Margot, because it was a slow burn, and all of the things you learn about her in season two are that much more gratifying because you waited for it. Um, I mean, I it Margot is a dream to play. It, it, it's going to be pretty crushing when I'm done with her because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to top it. I mean, I I love my writing. I got to say. So <laughs> it's great writing. It's such a it it's is. one of those shows that surprise you because at first you think it's just something light and frothy, but there's a lot of yeah. reality in it. There is, and that's that's the thing I love most about the magicians. It's it, from a perspective of an actress, you have to straddle so many different genres and so many different tones and grab it all and you're always thrown in these exceptional circumstances and my character specifically and Elliot's characters specifically wear the uh, these elaborate costumes so it's easy to want to fly off the handle because you look like you're flying off the handle so your job is to really just bring it all down and and make it feel real to you and that's fun so can you tell me what Margot will be up to this coming season <laughs> I mean <laughs> I don't even know that much, actually. I think at this point she's just trying to deal with the fairy occupation and, and probably mend her relationship with Elliot and Fenn. Um, I absolutely love Brittany Curran, who plays Fenn. I think she's such a strong addition to the cast, and, and you're definitely going to see more of her this year, so that'll be nice. That'll be really nice. Thank yeah. You. I look forward to seeing you this Thank fall. Thank you. <laughs>